Everybody who comes through Columbus North takes Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. And then after that, it kind of splits off into a couple different paths. We want to give every single student a chance to succeed, and so we often offer retakes and chances to um, correct mistakes, and we understand that it's important to have a growth mindset when learning math, and that not everybody masters it exactly at the same time. My favorite part about the atmosphere at Columbus North is that uh, everybody can feel like they can be themselves without being judged. We're a language department. We have eight teachers total, four for Spanish and then one for uh, German, French, Japanese, and Chinese. Um, so we, we teach five different languages. I think one thing that makes us unique, a couple of years ago we started um, a world language culture fair and our students will research a certain part of a country or an aspect, a cultural aspect, aspect and then they have to, the students come up with some sort of interactive activity and then we held it in the lobby down in the commons and different classes come, come by and they get a passport stamped and so they learn, they're able to learn about different cultures even if they are studying another language they might be learning about the Japanese culture or even if they're not even in language. We like to travel with our students. Um, we, I know in the Spanish department we travel every other year with students and we've been to Puerto Rico, Costa Rica, Peru and South America. Columbus in general with all the businesses we have that are international and bring in international employees. So we're a very diverse culture at North and so much to offer. The English department at Columbus North is made up of 13 teachers right now, and we um, teach English 9, 10, 11, and 12. Students take English every year that they're here at North. We have three different levels of English that students can take. Students decide how they want to challenge themselves year to year. In our English classes, students will work on a lot of different activities and projects. Of course, we do a lot of reading and writing, but we also have a lot of discussion strategies. Our teachers um, have a lot of Socratic seminars, group projects, um, activities to get students moving as they're thinking and learning and processing. As a whole, I think North works really well together and we help develop these amazing students that make it um, just exciting to come to work every day. Some of the courses that are offered in the social studies department are required and some are elective. So freshmen and sophomores take either geography and history of the world or world history. Um, we also have United States history which is required for juniors and government and econ required for seniors. And then some of our electives are sociology, psychology, humanities, ethnic studies, Indiana studies, and we have some AP electives as well. We have AP world history, we have AP psychology teachers that work really hard to create engaging lessons for kids and they also work really hard at building relationships with the kids. They care about what the kids are doing inside of school and outside of school and I often hear my teachers talking to their students about their athletic events and where they work and just showing that they really care. For the North Special Ed Department we have 10 teachers and about 20 TA at this point. Uh, we are a very inclusive department. We try to uh, help our students to be as inclusive as possible, go to be successful in general ed classes. And that is our goal, um, to level the playing field through accommodation that help make sure our students will be, have the equal opportunity to be successful here at Columbus North High School. We taught students both non-diploma track and on diploma track and our goal is hopefully four years, the students will complete all the requirements for diploma track as well as for the non-diploma track requirement. And we are aim for as inclusive as possible and make sure our students have the uh, same opportunities as any students at North High School. Every day in here, we have different challenges. And at the end of the day, if we can you know, help students go through those challenges and be successful, and that's something I really enjoy and treasure every day. The absolute best thing about the Columbus North Science Department would be the amazing teachers. I cannot believe, um, I'm awed and amazed on a daily basis at the links that these teachers will go to to make science engaging and accessible. Accessible by giving students multiple ways to interact with concepts and 
multiple ways of showing uh, what they know about these concepts and engaging because they make it as hands-on as possible and that develops a deep conceptual understanding of science. When you manipulate the variables and see the direct impact of that manipulation, but it also just makes it more fun. The uh, boat races, that's a perfect example of engaging and hands-on and exploring uh, the variables that influence buoyancy. Our students truly respect each other, they're kind to one another, and I see that they are even now trying to make a difference in the world around them, and they will go on to make an even greater difference, and being a part of that is an absolute joy. Thank you, CNHS students. I could summarize North in one word, it would be a family. Community. Dynamic. I think it's dynamic in ways like, like ethnicities, first of all, and then there's just a lot of different people who come from different backgrounds that come to North because it's really good in education. I think it would be creative because there are so many classes and variety and teachers that there's just a lot to be explored here. The faculty here at North is full of kind, caring, and really smart adults who want to produce not just educated kids, but nice kids. It kind of has a unique, easy to navigate social dynamic that makes life kind of easier just walking through these hallways. What makes North stand out is pretty much the opportunities that you can get being here. Like, you can get into drama, you can get into sports. There are so many like different ways to be involved, and you can like do it all if you want to. I think North is unique because it's, uh, it's more open and friendly towards newcomers. I moved here from far away, and it made life easier coming to North instead of another school. My overall experience at North has always been really positive and really good. And so I guess what made it this positive is just like I've gotten involved and so I've gotten to meet people and like I've made so many friends like being involved in so many different things during my time in North. Hello, my name is Gene Hack and I'm the director of C4. You might wonder what C4 is. C4 is Columbus Area Career Connections and what it allows is students to have the opportunities to tie their English, Math, Science and Social Studies curriculum into the relative of the world. Some of the examples of our classes are radio and television, BNN, architecture, construction, health sciences, nursing, health sciences, dental, health sciences, vet. Some of the benefits that you receive as a student through C4 uh, courses are that you get to actually try out what you might be interested in. So this instruction program have built a house working with the partners inside our community and uh, allowed those to get an experience as well as that. Students in the culinary arts opportunity run a uh, restaurant and have a chance to work through both the menus in the front and the back of the house. The real advantage of a C4 uh, experience is that opportunity to tie in what you're learning in your other core classes, but then also put that into the what the real world may look like and give you a taste of if that's what you really are thinking it should be and where you should be going. Hi, I'm Brian Munoz. I'm the band director at Columbus North High School. At Columbus North, we have a very active music program. I am just half of it. We also have a choir program. On the band side, we offer three concert bands with varying expectations, varying levels. So our concert band is our most basic concert band. Anyone is welcome to join that group, all the way up to our top wind ensemble, which has been a state finalist for 20 years in a row. We also offer a robust jazz band program, again, offering three ensembles for those first time uh, ever playing jazz, wanting to try out jazz and the jazz style to our varsity jazz program, which competes at festivals across the state and surrounding areas. We also have a string orchestra program. We also have a robust private lesson program for those of you that are wanting to take your skills to the next level. We also offer an AP music theory course. And we also offer all sorts of extracurricular activities like marching band, pet band, isma solo and ensemble, winter color guard, winter percussion, and so much more. Hi, my name is Jennifer Gaffron and I am the choir director for Columbus North High School. Uh, at Columbus North we have two show choirs, one that is for um, any gender and then one that is specifically for female identifying students. Um, they're called Vocal Point and North Stars. They compete around the area regionally. 
um, and it is my contest, um, both for show choir and for regular concert choir. We also have two concert choirs, festival choir and concert choir, aptly named. And then um, the last choir that we have here is 25th Street Singers, which is our jazz and acapella group. They do a lot of pentatonic style music, um, and they're the ones that you see around the community a lot, along with those show choirs. So um, we have five different ensembles here, and then in addition to that, I also teach a piano class that a lot of kids will sign up for in addition to choir. If you're looking to join the CN Choir program, most of our choirs are auditioned, but I don't want that to scare you away because I know that's a big deterrent from some students. Um, this, I try to make it the easiest audition that you've ever had because I don't want a fear of singing in front of me to be the thing that stops you from doing something that you enjoy. I send out audition materials both to um, my students, the middle school uh, teachers, and to the guidance department so that um, they all have that information to disperse to any student that's interested in joining, whether it be a current North student or an incoming North student. Look forward to having your auditions, and as always, if you need anything from me, if you have any questions, concerns, or if you just need a little pep talk before you send a stranger a video of you singing, then just shoot me an email and I'm more than happy to talk you up. Or give you advice, whatever you need from me. Um, we have a lot to offer here and we'd be glad to have you. Hi, I'm Rachel McCarver and I'm one of the teachers and advisors for student media. You might also know it as journalism or publications. When you're signing up for your classes as an eighth grader, it might seem like your schedule's a little tight and you may not have any time for elective classes, but I assure you, you do. You have a long time at North and plenty of time to fill it up with classes that can help you in later in life or just to explore different careers. Hello, my name is Mr. Lovins. I am one of the advisors here at Columbus North High School in our journalism program. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our um, different classes that we offer that are journalism based. So we have the intro classes that you might be interested in. They are beginning journalism where you learn some of the basics behind reporting and storytelling along with some focus on photography and design. And we also have our photojournalism class that is essentially the same thing as beginning journalism but it is obviously heavily focused on photography and more of the visual communication aspects of journalism. And once you finish taking one of those two classes, you then have the opportunity of working on many of our different staffs that we offer. Um, we have, first of all, our Triangle News Magazine, where once a month students work to put out a 24-page issue of uh, news and information that's important to students. This is one from our previous year that we had published and we are working every month to get that information out to students, uh, both in print and in our online version, which is another staff that you have the potential of joining, and that is our staff for cnhsmedia.com, where we update the website every week, um, sometimes getting information out to students about things that are important to them, profiles and information about students that they may be interested in, as well as some other fun videos and other clickable things that they can look at on the website, which leads me into another staff that you have the potential of working with, which is our Bulldog News Network, BNN, which is our video broadcasting uh, class where they work to uh, produce new segments, magazine shows, all about students and the events that go on in our school. And we also have another staff that works with the events that happen throughout the year, uh, covering in a full 240 page yearbook, as well as covering stories about individuals who are in our school building. Um, and so that is a publication that we put out once a year, along with the triangle that comes out once a month. And we also have our immersive media staff that works a lot with advertising within the community, as well as working for our social media aspects of our publications branch. So once you've taken either of our beginning courses, Courses, whether it's beginning journalism or photojournalism, you then have the chance to be able to join any of our different staffs that we offer here at Columbus North High School. In student media, it's not all about journalism and all about media, even though the name says it. In this class, you will learn different things like working with others, how to work with people that you don't normally interact with, how to meet deadlines, and most importantly, how to have fun. You may not know what part of student media you want to be involved in, but we have a lot of different jobs, from photography to videography to being on screen to being behind the screen to editing to publishing to ad sales. No matter what you're interested in, we have a place for you. Another great thing about our program is we have the opportunity for travel. We've been to places like California, to Boston, to Florida. We've done all this traveling and we also have opportunities such as workshops during the summer at different colleges and anything else that you can think of that can further your learning in student media. We look forward to meeting you and can't wait till you join our family.
Columbus North, we have a lot of kids that take pride in um, their education, the education side of things, and also we have a lot of kids that um, work really hard out on the field. One of the things that sets us apart from other athletic departments around the state of Indiana, I think our coaches play a, a huge role in the development of our kids on and off the field. We have a great football field, auditorium, um, we have two, two gyms where we have enough space for kids to uh, practice on both levels, JV and varsity at, at the same time. Overall, we have great facilities for our kids to perform at. Hello, my name is David Clark and I am the principal of Columbus North High School. Out near our track and field and football facility, to the uh, northeast part of our campus, there's a stone fixture of a bulldog, and on that bulldog is etched this phrase, once a bulldog, always a bulldog. I want you to know how just how very true that is. Coming into and considering what school you might go to, that's a forever choice. When I think about Columbus North High School, I think about the family, and I think about the bulldog way. The Bulldog Way is around students learning over the course of their time here how to be respectful of each other, how to be responsible, and how to build positive relationships. And that's what happens here at Columbus North High School. I'm proud to work with the staff that's here. We have certified staff, your teachers, who will do their very best to help you become your very best. Our instructional framework here at Columbus North High School is built around the universal design for learning. We want it to be possible for every student to learn in the way that best fits them. Our students here at Columbus North High School love the challenge, they embrace the challenge, and they try to do their very best in everything that takes place here in the classroom or on the athletic fields. Our students are the best. One of the most exciting uh, things that I get to do as a principal is meet students. I love students and I love watching them grow and mature and progress here. What a wonderful and blessed job that I have. As a staff, we are very interested in what you do here at Columbus North High School. But make no mistake about it, we are significantly more interested in what you become here. Over the course of four years, you will become young men and young women who are prepared to take on whatever challenges you might face and succeed. Remember, once a bulldog, always a bulldog.